Hello, welcome to the Rains Feldman Cyber Liability Update. Once again, we have the usual cast of characters with Scott Leswitz and Steve Geblin. I am Eric Cyberson. And today I want to talk about something uh, that relates to online defamation, and that is the statute of limitations. And the reason I want to talk about that is very often we get phone calls here at the law firm by people who have been defamed online and I review the posts with them and once I look at the posts I immediately realize that although it is defamatory content there is no claim because the statute of limitations have been blown for whatever reason uh, the potential client has waited two three four years when in California the statute of limitations is one year and so Scott, let me throw this out to you. Um, most people that call me are under the impression that the statute of limitations begins to run from the time that they discover the defamatory content online. Is that always true or are there, is, is there another scenario? It depends. So generally, if the content is posted some, on some type of public forum, then the one year starts ticking immediately. But if it's something like an email or a text message where it's a private communication that you had no reason to know about and all of a sudden you find out about it you know, 18 months later, then you can sue because the statute of limitations is told, doesn't begin until discovery or when a reasonable person would have discovered the, uh, the content. I see. And so, Steve, what's something with regard to the public uh, websites how you know because the, the clock starts ticking immediately upon publication right. what's one practical thing that we can tell our uh, viewers and clients to do in order to detect when they have been defamed uh, the simplest thing is to set up a Google alert or something similar to that that runs searches for your name your business name um, and so you know when something new pops up so you know when something shows up on Yelp or Ripoff Report or Pissed Consumer or any of those kinds of websites. So you can look at it and see, is it accurate? Do I need to respond to it? Is it defamatory? Do I need to call a lawyer? I see. So, you know, this will be a quick update here today, but I think it's important for viewers to understand that distinction as it pertains to defamation and digital communications. If it's on a public forum, it starts to run immediately upon publication. If it's in text message or email in a private forum, like Scott alluded to, then it is upon a discovery. So uh, the takeaway is, uh, and, and also just at a high level, the statute of limitations is, is very short for defamation. It's only one year. So you do need to take quick action if you've been defamed online. And the best thing to do, of course, is to pick up the phone and call a member of the Rains Feldman Cyber Liability Team. Uh, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time.